The Beast Institute is based on the idea that we've uncovered enough about how nature builds that we can now leverage biological principles to develop new engineering innovations. But we're not just a research institute, we're, we're a translation institute and we've set up and developed a very novel structure that not only allows us to come up with discoveries, but to de-risk them technically, commercially, to create a path towards commercialization that will lead to startups or licensing agreements in the near term. There's a candy store of technologies, but you find great technologies in a lot of places, let's be honest about it. But when people in collaboration come together to solve big problems with the best intentions in mind, then I think science becomes really exciting. We're developing coating materials for evaporative cooling that make HVAC systems more energy efficient and cost effective. We're building data storage out of DNA in order to serve society's future needs. All of the data in this server room could fit in just a fraction of the DNA in this Petri dish. Brett syndrome is a severe form of autism that affects 1 in 9,000 women. There is no cure. We are developing high throughput cognitive screening systems to develop effective therapeutics. Our tough adhesive hydrogel is strong, flexible, and attaches to wet and moving surfaces. It can revolutionize treatments for injuries inside and outside the body. We engineer microbes to produce biodegradable plastics from CO2 that can help mitigate pollution and climate change. We are working on an AI-based drug screening platform that can be used by other these technologies to greatly advance drug development. We enable almost 25% of all of the intellectual property out of Harvard University at this point. And that means that we have to not only come up with disruptive ideas, we have to figure out how to translate them into commercializable products. Meaning we're not a company, we're not going to commercialize them, but we have to bring them as far as they need to go to get over that valley of death to get them into the marketplace. We're bringing to market Vise developed technology to treat opioid exposed newborns with a unique vibrating mattress to improve breathing, heart rate, and relaxation. We are developing a platform technology that was originally created at the Wies Institute into products that can quickly diagnose and treat deadly conditions such as antibiotic resistance diseases and sepsis. Using technology developed partly at the Wies, we provide biomarker detection strategies to transactional researchers to help them better understand the tumor microenvironment. The Wies Institute was able to de-risk the development of a soft robotic exosuit it allowed us to bring the product to market more quickly, more efficiently, and get it available to patients. Our foundational technology was developed at the VIS Institute. We have an entire pipeline and portfolio of organ chips to enable researchers to better predict and understand the effects of drugs, chemicals, foods, and diseases on human health. We want to continue our breakneck pace of new discoveries and coming up with new ideas, new technologies to create spin-outs and lasting agreements. We're looking for partners in this, whether it's investors, philanthropists, uh, companies who are trying to solve problems that they can't figure out how to solve on their own. I think we can help. Breakthrough discoveries can't change the world. If they don't leave the lab. We combine the freedom of academia with the focus of industry in order to innovate and translate revolutionary technologies into disruptive products for healthcare and sustainability.